cleared out. Obviously a bit of a hard sell, but absolutely shed loads of DVDs, CDs, Blu-rays, games, everything. Uh, 20 pounds for everything, crazy. some of the haul now that I've got it out of it so loads and loads of DVDs and guys I went through a lot of these and I'll go into a bit more detail but a lot of them loads are sealed loads are sealed I don't know if there's a need there's not going to be that great value on them uh, box sets they're sealed loads of box sets absolutely loads I know the hero one's not going to get much for but yeah loads of family guy I'm going to try and bundle them up and complete the whole series uh, but this one's full of like good ones because I went through this one. It's all the Marvel, Godfather, Spider-Man, Transformers, all your kind of retro-y bits and pieces. A lot of the comedy ones I'll just throw. Uh, lo loads of box sets. Absolutely loads of box sets. So, like the whole Breaking Bad, uh, Professionals. There's loads of like these ITV kind of, loads of DVDs. But loads that, most of them, are, most of the ones I've got in it, like there. I know they're only really cheap, but they're all sealed. Uh, got to have a value to someone. Obviously going to be a little bit more of a hard sell. Uh, but yeah, everything is full. There's got to be a couple of thousand DVDs. The two that I did go through when I was there. So yeah, again, you can see the amount of CDs I've got there. Lots of soundtracks, lots of hip hop. But the two I went through before I started packing everything up was this box here. Uh, and I put some of these ones on top because they were just laying about. So, Bugs Life, Lilo and Stitch, Leroy and Stitch. There's loads, absolutely loads, but yeah. Let's put those over there for a minute. But this was one of the main boxes. When I looked at it, I thought, like, yeah, you've got train spotting. But, Disney-wise, you've got all of the DuckTales and the movie, another Rescue Rangers, and guys, you're about to see this in my pickup video, because I've picked up one of these already. Uh, so I've got another one there. And then absolutely loads and loads of Blu-rays. Uh, again, all part of the deal. So, you know, for the whole lot, guys, so the whole lot you see here, I've paid £20, uh, including the Blu-rays, and a lot of the Blu-rays are sealed. Don't know about that one, but yeah, you can see here, sealed. The Magicians, Season 1, whatever that's about. Ice Age isn't sealed. Iron Man 2, Ice Age. Oh, I think I've got all the Ice Age. All the Ice Age, I'll bundle those. Sealed, sealed Guardians of the Galaxy, another Nativity, not sealed though. Here's one here, sealed, what's that? Free Solo, don't know what that's about. Guardians of the Galaxy, sealed. You know, the list goes on and on. Captain America, First Avenger, Rocket Man, sealed. Uh, Captain America, sealed also. One's these here, oh, I didn't realize there was another pile here. There you go, more Blu-rays. Fringe, four. Third. So it looks like the whole season there. A fringe, whatever that's about. Don't really know what that's about. Uh, don't know what that is either. Don't know what that one is. But another one. Uh, but yeah, there's got to be over, there's definitely over £20 worth of value here in Blu rays alone, let alone getting through the harder stuff. Uh, so yeah, really happy. I'm just going to go through this other pile of ones that we got here because I know there's a lot of Blu rays. Hell of a lot of Blu rays. Iron Man 3. Oh, there you go. Four Dark Worlds. So a lot of the Marvel ones, and they're sealed. So Angelina Jolie, 3D, Harry Potter, The Mummy. I didn't mind that movie. The Rookie. Oh, I do like The Rookie. Good movie. Better stories. Oh, there you go. Avengers sealed. Iron Man. Four sealed. Don't know what that one is, but that's sealed. Monster House. It's that one at the bottom. Ice Age 5, Jesus. Right, so I've got all the Ice Age on Blu-ray. Uh, again, no doubt that bundle's got to go for more than 20 quid, surely. So yeah, so I definitely, I saw this was in there and thought, okay, don't really matter about everything else because you're going to make your money. You know, if I go to resale, I'm definitely going to make my money back on them alone, the Blu-rays. Uh, so yeah, happy with that. Definitely happy with that. Let's put that down there so that doesn't fold. So yeah, definitely got that. And then CD-wise... Oh, here you go, some more Blu-rays. X-Files. 
Play the field, hard rain. Those in there. So yeah, there's just a mixture of it. CD wise, the only CDs I kind of went through. So you've got loads of compilation albums, absolutely loads. And then there's this bag that I went through. So you had like Eminem, Bad Meets Evil, uh, who's 50 Cent. Everything, there's so much there. Another 50 Cent, same album. Cassidy, Tupac. But and then random Santa Claus, there's so much. Acorn. Eminem, Eminem, Shady, Cassidy, Jackson 5, Eminem, Eminem. So as soon as I seen these, I was like, you know what? It don't matter, the 20 quid's fine. Let me just pile everything up and start getting it in the car. Uh, no doubt I have to go through some of these CDs because they're not all going to be great CDs, do you know what I mean? Let's just go through like, old oh, McDonald had a farm, what the hell? Uh, you know, but the majority of them, you know, you're going to have to go through them. I'm going to have to go through them. What's down here? Oh, there you go. PS2 game as well. Uh, here you go. Here's another game down here. Just Battlefront. So I know that hasn't got much value. Battlefront. Uh, but that's fine. There was another thing as well, uh, which they were going to throw away. And I said, I oh, don't throw it away. I want to keep them Eminem albums together, really. Uh, I said, don't throw it away. I'm trying to see where it is. It was this. So this was just laying on there. And the guys were like, oh no, throw it in the bin. You know, we can't keep vouchers. I looked inside, guys, it says there's a 60 pound voucher on here. And the person that I was getting this bundle from, they're like, oh, just throw it in the bin, mate. I don't want it. I don't know what it is. I said, look, can I at least take it and see if it, uh, see if it works? The card is in it. The card is here, ultimate gift card. Uh, so he's like, yeah, yeah, take it if it's on there. You know, happy days to you. So it says 60 quid from Christmas time. Uh, so if that's on there, that's paid, well, I've made, well, I've, I'm in the plus anyway, I reckon, looking at it, but yeah, so you've got, yeah, hopefully that JD card obviously works, uh, the Blu-rays, loads of CDs, loads of CDs, and as I'm saying, guys, these are just hard sellers, I know that, I know it's going to take some work, uh, you know, a lot of it can be boot sold, uh, but a lot of, a lot of sealed stuff. See, not great value. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm gonna obviously retire, uh, but loads. There's a whole bag for the horror as well, which I went through. Absolutely loads of horror, old school horror, newer stuff. I think it might be in this bag with the orphan. I think it's all in there. I've put it all in there. But yeah, so quite a great pickup. Twenty quid can't go wrong. Uh, I think I've definitely, 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 definitely uh, made my money and lucked out. But yes, so yeah, that is it forgiveness for the bins uh but i now need to try and get this in my outbuilding uh but yes that's it now stay tuned and i'll show you what i've actually picked up during the week because there is a hell of a gem that i picked up in a charity shop for one pound uh if you're following me on instagram you would have already seen it as well uh, but i will show you that as well because i literally just lucked out massively lucked out uh, yeah so stay tuned so welcome back guys back into the cave of wonders the retro cave jeez i'm absolutely shattered uh, so I went to sort this whole deal out about 12 o'clock. I got back about three, but my back is absolutely breaking. Uh, obviously, I know it's not extremely heavy work. It's only DVDs and CDs. Uh, but I was just going through a lot of it. I got rid of a ton of CDs, you know, like the classical ones, some Beethoven, all the like jazz ones, etc. And some people say, oh, there's value in that stuff. I've got a few in here, but there was loads I just thought oh, I need to get rid of because uh, my car was my car was full. And I've got like a 4x4. It was just, I had to put the seats down it's absolutely full uh, but as you can see now i'm absolutely inundated with dvds uh blu-rays games and cds i've mostly got a couple of thousand cds uh, which i need to go through i need to go through everything i've gone through obviously a couple of boxes that you guys would have seen like the blu-rays that you saw in one box i tried to keep a box just to say actually is this worth obviously it's worth 20 quid it's worth over 20 quid uh, but they only wanted 20 quid for it all because they were more happy for it to get cleared uh, but yeah, loads and loads of box sets. I've just got one in front of me, like Breaking Bad. And I know I've already showed this. I don't know what the value is of Breaking Bad season one to final season. So yeah, all in all in there. I think it's missing a slip case, but it's still quite decent. The Eminem CDs, no doubt, are worth more than 20 quid anyway. And definitely the Blu-rays. You've seen a lot of seasons that were in that box. I don't even know where I've put that box. It's somewhere in here. Guys, I've literally, I'm backed up here now, all here. This is with stuff that I've been buying as well that you guys would have been watching. Under the desk is completely full and all behind all behind you is full now as well. Uh, so 
I need to take it a little bit easier in the charity shops, but this could be a good time for me to start venturing into reselling. I've got a hell of a lot of stock in the next week, which I've just found out as well that uh, I'll be picking up. And these, no doubt, will go straight to Tom from Bizarre Rage Pieces, because Tom, as you guys know, if you watch his videos, he's getting heavily into like graphic novels, books, etc., and wants to start uh, looking and venturing down that avenue along with toys. And I always think it's a great idea, because if you do go to the boot sale just to look for toys, some it, it, it is hit and miss you know they are retro related items now they're very hard to come by so i always tend to watch out for special blu-rays dvds books you know cds lps anything that's retro related as you guys know i, I will venture for that to make the boot sales worthwhile for me and so the charity shops and then by doing bits and pieces like that deals like this come together because you just you build your network uh but yeah oh, there's, there's a hell of a lot to go through uh so yeah Definitely, the value is definitely going to be in the box box set, the blue. I'm a little bit overwhelmed by everything, to be fair, guys, because it's a hell of a lot of stock. I wasn't expecting it to be as much as what it was. Uh, I thought a couple of boxes. I think I'm sitting on about 20 boxes. Mostly about 10 to 12 bags for life. Absolutely fully rammed with DVDs and CDs. Uh, but yes, this was a pickup video. And guys, what I was going to say as well, because I've got stuff under the desk now, I did not realise how many games I've been picking up in terms of Wii. So... I would have put on my Instagram. I've, I've got something like eight copies of uh, Wii Sports, Super Mario Brothers, uh, DS's now. DS's, I just need to pass up on. I've literally got about 12 DS's. Some unboxed, some boxed, all different colours. The DSI's I've got, three DS's now, and PSP's. So I have reached out to my brother, and my brother uh, wants a few. He hasn't got a PSP, etc. So I'm giving him a PSP, and I'm going to give him one that's fully like coin ops. So it's already loaded with all the retro consoles as well. So I'm giving that to him uh, this weekend as well. And then, yeah, like I was saying, there's... Uh, sorry, so going back to Tom from Bizarro's Pieces, so he's picking up the books. Being able, hopefully, to source uh, find someone who watched the channel, I'm very grateful for that. Someone who picked up, like, 130 graphic novels, so comic-related. Uh, so I'm going to pick those up with Tom next Saturday because there's some bits in there, mostly, that I will take, but Tom's getting quite heavily into graphic novels, so I think it's only fair... With all the good deeds that Tom does to me and, you know, reaching out and helping me with bits and pieces that I return the favour to him. Uh, and the person who's picked up these graphic novels is happy to sell them at the price we've agreed. Uh, so no doubt I'll do a short video on just in terms of what we picked up and no doubt Tom will do a video as well. So I'll wait for his video to drop first. But in terms of what I've been up to, guys, this week. So this isn't the part. This is the part I went through. And these are like cases where I need the discs. Say so Simpsons hit and run on the uh, GameCube Mario simpsons and this is the kind of the tidying up i was doing another wee result so i need one result i've got loads of these as well these are all duplicates as well wee party smash brothers uh all the manuals are in there donkey kong that's that mario olympics from the other week and then city underground uh so i just need to pick up the discs on those ones uh, and i thought i'd get them out so i know what i'm looking for so i don't just keep picking up this so, but in terms of what i picked up from the charity shop and everything's different prices, so I'm going to go through these. Let's do the main one first. Let's do the main one first. I'll put a picture up in the corner because, guys, so, and I'll tell you a story about this. Pokemon. Boxed. It's mint. Uh, the instructions are in there. Everything is mint. It's like it hasn't even been out of the box. I took it out to look at the game, and it's still got a plastic wrapper around it. Uh, in a charity shop, 99p. One pound. One pound. One pound. Uh, Jesus Christ, I lucked out. So I went into one of my charity shop about 10 minutes away from me. And the only reason I went into the charity shop, I seen loads of people on Instagram saying, I found this in charity shops. I found this, I've put up a charity shop video. And I was like, you know what? During my lunch hour, I'm getting out. I'm just hitting one. I'm hitting one. I... The buzz was hitting me so badly that I went in. And this is the only thing I picked up that day. The only thing. Uh, but one pound. I think it's one pound on 99p, but the only thing that starts to put me off is they stuck the sticker on the front. And if you guys know, if you're in charity shops all the time, it's okay coming off the plastic and sometimes you get some of the residue which is stuck there and you've got to rub it off. With card, I always think, oh, if you go too slow, you can take off some of the packaging. But yeah, it's come off nicely. Fantastic. This is going in my collection. You're not going to pick this up for one pound. I will put the picture in the corner. Uh, so you guys can see, because as soon as I got it, I went outside, I took some pictures, and there's like uh, WhatsApp groups that I'm on with, uh, well, which I talk to other people that are into similar things. Tom's one of those people. And then on my Instagram, I put it up as well, because it's like one of those unbelievable pieces. You don't, you never really see boxed Game Boy Advance games, but to see an absolute gem of a Pokemon game, 
Uh, and the guy, he come out and he's like, I've got the... Because I said, have you got any games? So whenever I go into charity shops, like everyone does anyway, I look what's on there and if I see someone that I know, and I know a lot of the people, the same people putting out their books, putting out their DVDs, it's like, have you got any games? He's like, I haven't got any games, but I'll tell you what I have got. I've got a Game Boy game. And for some reason in my head, Balloon Kid come up. And I don't know why, I absolutely love Balloon Kid on the Game Boy, normal Game Boy. I don't know why, it don't go for that much, but I thought, oh, it might be Balloon Kid. Don't know why that popped in my head. One of my favourite games and one of the first ones I had on the Game Boy. Uh, but he came out and said, oh no, it's sorry, it's Game Boy Advance. Like he'd done me some dishonour. And he was like, oh, it's not, it's Game Boy Advance. Would you still be interested? And when he went like, I was like, yeah, yeah. How much are you selling it for? And he was like, oh, 99p. Now, obviously I know it's for charity and you could have said, look, it's worth X amount. I'm not flipping. I'm not flipping this. You know, if I could get this as cheap as possible, this is going into my collection. It's going into my game collection. I'm quite passionate about it. Uh, and I spend a hell of a lot of money in charity shops at the moment. And you guys know, sometimes I'll pick up DVDs for one pound. They're not even worth a penny, but I just take, I just put them into my collection. This is one of those ones. Yeah, it's worth a bit more money, uh, but I wanted it for my collection. It's something I want for myself. So yeah, one pound. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens in the comments, uh, how people feel about that. But yeah, picked up for one pound. A completely different charity shop during the week, four pound. So four pound, uh, I would have usually left it. I have one of these loose already, just a cartridge. But you know what? I thought I don't, I'm not seeing that much games in charity shops at the moment. These are ones are four pound. And you guys know I'm picking up 3DSs in the cases. I banged on about Argos when they done the clearance on their 3DS games. Mostly about three to four months ago now, where they got. I think they've still got Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, 9.99. I think they're still 9 99 They were when I picked them up. They're sealed as well. I picked them up. I put them away as an investment. Pokemon's always going to be hot. It's hot right now with the trading cards and anything Pokemon related. Everything's, everyone's just picking up. So I picked up all the Pokemon 3DS games, sealed them, just left them up there. Uh, Kirby. What other ones have I got? I just picked up all the like manga kind of anime related ones as well. A couple of Zeldas as well. Uh, but yes, £4 for Mario. Then just picked up some CDs. These were 50p for both of them. So it's now... Uh, 21st century and prints a double double cover uh, to be fair guys you've seen what I've just picked up I might as well just throw these in the pile as well so you might as well just go in there and then some games that I saw and these were so actually what did I pay for these I've got to get the right pile out because so that wasn't in the deal Big Foot and Henderson as well so, so all this was £2 so I paid £2 for this bundle because they said, oh, if you want to take any more, we'd do a deal. This was in a charity shop as well. Uh, so I picked up all this and they said I could have it for £2. Again, inundated with stock. My, I'm doing really well around my charity shops. They are inundated with stock at the moment. But yeah, UFC 2. Uh, Motorsport 6. Star Wars. Oh, The Force Unleashed 2. I've got this already. I thought it might have a better trade in. I don't think it has. I think it's like 2 quid. Uh, guys, you would have seen it at the beginning of my video where I said, oh... I've already picked this up for the week. So this is the Chippendale. Oh, I, thought, I thought I've had it nearby as well, just to say, here's the other one. Did I be with that? Oh, oh yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it is. Right, so, yeah, so you would have seen, come on. So I've now got two, so really I could have left this, but for £2 for that bundle, it's worth it. So yeah, so I've got two uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Uh, no doubt there'd be some kind of sell-on value for these. And like I've said, is now the time to start looking at reselling. Or setting something up, or even getting like another space just to start listing. Sorry, organizing this stuff. So, DVDs into horrors, CDs into hip hop, R&B, pop. Because I just don't have the space up here. I'm working from here. I've got my bloody workbench up here to do weights. I've got a telly and gaming up here. This used to just be my area to relax and chill. It's become overwhelming, especially as now I'm. It looks like I'll be working from home pretty much. I might as well say full time. I think I'm going in the office one day a week uh, from September. So yeah, literally, I need to make this more. I don't know. I just need more space or, or shift through it. And then, sorry guys, back to that bundle that I paid the two quid for. So yeah, Harry and the Hendersons. Uh, I picked this up. I think this was on Netflix already. But I always like having like a hard uh, copy as well. So got that. And then two Wii Sports uh, Wii games, which I have, which I didn't think I had. So Tony Hawk. Downhill Jam. I thought I, had, I thought I needed this. I don't. I've got it. Hence, when I was going through the uh, empty cases and all my games, <laughs> there's loads under the desk. Absolutely loads. Uh, yeah, I've already got it. So, yeah, that's a double. 
Uh, I don't have this one. So Academy of Champions Football. So I just go in a wee collection, trying to build that collection up. Uh, but yes, one more charity shop actually. There was one more charity shop. This was an interesting one. So I had to go to the dentist and people were going to go, Jesus, Scott. Scott Silla, as people have been calling me as well. Scott Silla. I like that name. It actually stuck and I, I was actually having a giggle about it. Uh, I think it's someone on YouTube, Mando, that watches, that said Scott Silla strikes again. And it did, it did make me giggle. Uh, but yes, so Scott Silla does strike again. So I went to the dentist. And don't think, guys, every time I go to a dentist appointment or I go to a doctor's or I go see a family member that I've got to pop, pop in a charity shop. It does seem like that at the moment, to be fair, because they haven't been open for so long. And I know they're inundated with stock, especially with lockdown now easing, the bank holiday weekend, people are clearing out. Uh, so I went in there. And to be fair, these were mostly a bit more than what I'd usually pay. Uh, my dentist appointment was in Sydenham. If you know Sydenham, it's a Forest Hill way. Uh, and I thought, oh, I'll pop in the charity shop quickly because I had half an hour. They don't let you into your dentist appointment until you bang on the time now. There's no waiting rooms. Uh, and I haven't had them cleaned for a year. Obviously, I clean my teeth, but I like to get the hygienist to do everything. But enough about that. Uh, going into my personal life. Uh, but yeah, I thought, right, I'm going to check the charity shop out. Loads and loads of games, all priced at £3. Uh, and they were mostly like, I'd usually pick them up in a charity shop for a pound. Uh, but there's one that stood out. I'm trying to build my Wii U collection as well whenever I see them. And one of the games that I saw was NBA 2K13. So I know it's not that desirable. I know it mostly doesn't even trade for that much, but it's £3. Uh, paid £3 for it. because And the only thing that got me, guys, when I read the back of this was duel between the 1992 dream team and 2012 squad so if i'm talking the u.s basketball team you're talking larry bird you're talking uh pitman you're talking jordan as well uh so yeah as soon as i saw that magic johnson as soon as i saw that i was like yeah i'm picking this game up and produced by jc and i know he's a huge uh basketball fan himself i think he's got franchising is it the new york knicks or he owns the owns part of the new york knicks so yeah 100% picking that up. Uh, so I picked that up. And then the other one, this was sealed. Uh, I don't have it in my Blu ray collection. £3 again, 2001 Oddity. Uh, thought I'm picking it up. I need that for my own collection. It's sealed as well. So I was happy with that. But yeah, I was going to say what's my buy of the week uh, until I picked up all these DVDs and Blu rays, games, and CDs. There's a lot of work to go through, but it would start me off really nicely if I was to move into reselling now that part of like what I'd call entertainment sorted. I've got enough to get on with. Comics, uh, if I wanted to bundle out what I don't have anymore, doubles, triples, I've got keys galore, everything. I, I always think, I always say the same number every time I throw a number, mostly about 30,000, 60,000 comics I'm sitting on. So I've got enough. If I wanted to start going into reselling and venturing, uh, I've got enough to do it. Books is the same. Uh, I haven't ventured into, and at the moment it's mostly dangerous to me to get into like clothes, bric-a-brac, electronics, etc. Electronics, actually, me saying something, I did pick something up from the charity shop electronic-wise. Uh, scanner, photocopier and printer, £2. Uh, with all the software which is under here, I haven't put it on the desk yet. Epson one, so uh, yeah, I did pick that up as well. But yeah, find, find of the week in terms of just picking bits up, 100% it's going to be the Pokemon for £1. Yeah, I'm never going to see that again, I'm really happy to have that, that goes in the collection. But yeah, back to the reselling piece. One, I don't have the space at the moment. Two, I don't have the time. I've got a very demanding full-time job uh, and it's a very well-paid full-time job. So all my attention goes on to that uh, and that's what that's where all my time goes into at the moment. Obviously, I love doing this as a hobby in the background. I don't know if I'd have enough time to do hobby and actually go into the boot sales, doing the YouTube and trying to become a... Uh, part-time reseller i hate using that for i hate using that phrase part-time because i know so many people use it uh so i'm not going to use it. i'm coming away from that just moving into reselling uh i think it would just be too tough at the moment for me to do it individually uh but i will just start i will keep buying stuff i've always had a game plan to say look i'd love to retire in my 50s i'd love to retire in my 50 and just hit uh full-time reselling to so go straight into reselling have the youtube channel up and running Maybe have a website built, uh, which is my next stage. So my plan's always been, as soon as I get to YouTube to a 1,000 YouTube, a 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to still do my YouTubing, but I will build, I will have my website built. A million percent have my website. And nothing will be live, but it will be there. Uh, have everything built going for me, paying the maintenance, whatever that is, a month to have it done, but have it set out the way I want it set out and have that linked up to my other sites, uh, eBay, Facebook, 
Twitch, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I've mostly missed a couple out, but yeah, having it uh, set up to everything, so everything's there. And then it makes that move over easier. If I ever, if I wanted to move over to quicker, or I thought actually this is something I want to get into, I can move over to it straight away because I've got everything in place that I want. And it'd be brilliant that I've got the YouTube channel up that I can actually do maybe a side piece and bringing people on the journey of how I transition over into that because it's always been something I try to stay away from. You know, there's so many other bits you've got to look at, taxes, uh, listing stuff, you know, more on the customer service piece. And again, guys, my, my full-time job, that's where my heart is at the moment that's where my passion is uh doing what i do for a full-time job as a project manager so i really love that uh so yeah and i continue to do that but yes i've got a lot of stock guys that is it i don't want to go in i've turned it into like an absolute story on my life and apologies guys i know you don't want to see that but yeah definitely pick up of the week i'm overwhelmed by how much i've got here uh, and obviously i will let you guys know about this jd card that they said just take uh it was going in the bin it was going in the bin it was going in the bin and it says on the card there's 60 quid on there. Uh, that would just be balmy. If, that, if there's 60 quid on there, and I've had people where I've heard it before, I think I've even had it to me before, where I've got home and I've brought a book, like from a charity shop, for instance, and then you open a book and money's falling out of it. I've had that. I know other people that have had that. Uh, yeah, that that would just be one of those things if that happens. Uh, a card with 60 quid. Oh, a card with 60 quid on it in JD. Happy days. I don't know even what I'd get yet. Uh, but yes. And guys, it's quite funny because I have brought all this stuff, these DVDs, games. This is my little pile for CEX. Uh, so I've got a little pile brewed in that I thought, actually, I'm going to see how much, because I've been buying this stuff, you guys have seen, pretty cheap. Mostly 50p's, 10p's, or because they've been in like £5 for a bag bargains and stuff like that. I think the trade in here is about 40 quid, 40 to 50 quid. I was going to go in there and see what I can get. But, you know, looking at all the DVDs I've got now, there's mostly some more I'm going to add to this pile. Uh... I'd love to go in there with about four boxes worth and just get them to add it all up because this this hasn't sent me back anything. So I will do some of that and mostly do some CEX videos because it'd be good just to trade some stuff in and get some stuff because, like I say, I'm not moving into reselling anytime soon. Uh, but yes, thanks for watching. Guys, apologies about Wednesday's video as well. I think it was Wednesday or Thursday when I put a video out and there was no... I couldn't get any boot sale footage because my bloody GoPro went. That will not happen. That will definitely not happen tomorrow. I'm going out Sunday. I'm going to a boot sale. Hopefully the weather holds off because it, it's a weird one. It's been sunny in the mornings, raining in the afternoons. But I'm still going to hit it anyway because it puts a lot of people off when you have these little showers. It doesn't put me off. Uh, this year will be a mega year for my channel and a mega year for me going to boot sales. If people don't know, and I always, I always bang on about it, boot sales don't stop for me. So a little bit like in America, I guess some of their flea markets, their garage sales go all year round. The boot sales where I, where I am go all year round. Regardless of rain, they go. Uh, you just got to wear Wellertons. People, and it's all your house clearance people that go to those boot sales. And it's literally five minutes away from me. So it's my local and that runs. So the normal boot sales at the moment are running now and they run till September. And then my winter boot sale starts in October till April. And I'm already set up. I've got the boots. I've got the thermals. I've got the bloody torch that I've had from China that got delivered. So you guys will be able to see that first time. It's hilarious. It's so bright. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a big year for the channel in terms of just throwing out these boot sale videos. So yeah, please stick with me. Thank you for subscribing if you have. I hope you're enjoying everything uh, that I'm putting together. The raw tent, uh, content. Uh, it's definitely raw. I ain't set up in no studio in here, am I? It just looks like sooner or later I'm going to become... I think I'm balding on holder now. Uh, but we start shipping through this stuff or we'll get it all in a nice pile. But yeah, thanks for checking out the pile. Checking out the pile. Checking out the video. Can't wait to show you guys the live boot sale video tomorrow. Hopefully, I find some decent pieces, small pieces. I don't need any more. I really don't need any more. But yeah, on that note, take care. Have a lovely week.